Welcome to another video from RSK Smart. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about DeFi on Bitcoin, starting from what is DeFi, why it's important to use it, how it works, and how to start. Let's get started. What is DeFi? DeFi is the acronym for Decentralized Finance. This type of finance is the vision for a transformed financial paradigm for the future. Leveraging blockchain, cryptography, and other peer-to-peer -peer technology, DeFi aims to resolve the inherent crisis of centralized finance while innovating unprecedented avenues and solutions. The journey officially began with the release of Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin white paper in 2008. Inspired by this initial spark, distributed computing platforms such as Ethereum have been facilitating an entire body of decentralized financial solutions powered by smart contracts. RSK brings smart functionality to the Bitcoin blockchain, making it possible to program smart contracts on the network and build DeFi solutions too. You might ask, why DeFi on Bitcoin compared to other platforms? The main reasons are higher security, RSK is secured by 40 to 60% of Bitcoin hash power thanks to merged mining, making it the most secure of its kind. More transactions per seconds. Bitcoin processes seven transactions per second, and RSK expands Bitcoin's capabilities to potentially hundreds of transactions per second. Cheaper fees. Transacting on RSK is on average 40 to 50 times cheaper for users when compared to the Ethereum network. But the question is, why does DeFi matter? The main three reasons are, one, to avoid traditional bank timelines and costs to make international transactions. Geographical barriers are no longer an issue since interactions are in a completely digital form. Two, to give fair rates and reasonable conditions for those who need access to loans and grants and the traditional bank institutions are not willing to serve. Three, to avoid inflation or hyperinflation of local FIAT currency by using digital assets such as stablecoins of a stronger currency than the local one. What is the difference with a centralized finance or CFI? There are two fundamental differences between DeFi and CFI. First, no single entity controls a decentralized financial network. On the contrary, they are governed and managed by a globally distributed community of users. In the case of private or consortium blockchain-based DeFi ecosystems, there is a separate body of users that have sole control over certain aspects of the network. However, even then, such entities do not control the system's overall functioning and cannot bend the rules at will. In other words, DeFi systems can have varying degrees of decentralization, but are ultimately and majority user controlled. Second, DeFi systems don't involve trusted intermediaries, replacing them with automated, self-compliant, and encrypted algorithms. In other words, there is an emphasis on validation rather than trust. In turn, this ensures manifold benefits. Which are the major use cases of decentralized finance? There are many innovative use cases that are currently being explored by the DeFi community, but let's focus on the top three use cases. Number one, lending and borrowing. Decentralized platforms allow users to lend and borrow a wide range of digital assets. For instance, real world assets, say an artwork, can be tokenized and their value represented on the blockchain, and in turn, function as a digital asset available for lending. An example of this is Tropicus, a platform created on top of RSK that allows users to lend and borrow money by using Bitcoin or several other tokens in the RSK ecosystem as a collateral. Two, trading and P2P marketplaces. A decentralized exchange, or DEX, is an online platform that connects cryptocurrency buyers and sellers, thus enabling peer-to-peer -peer crypto trading. For example, RSK Swap, that allows you to exchange cryptocurrencies within the RSK system. Decentralized marketplaces, on the other hand, can be accessed by individuals and enterprises alike, offering them a secure ecosystem for issuing and using project-based crypto assets and services. One example of a DeFi solution is Sovereign. Sovereign allows users to trade, borrow, lend, and swap swap cryptocurrencies, including stablecoins, using the RSK, Ethereum, and Binance Smart Chain networks. Number three, financial services and fund transfer. DeFi ecosystems are not limited to lending, borrowing, or trading, and can be used to provide an entire spectrum of financial services, including insurance, mortgage, and so on. Furthermore, they can also facilitate secure and non-speculative means of investments, such as bonds. The issuance of crypto-based assets, security tokens, utility tokens, and other forms of tokenized equity also falls under the ambit of decentralized finance. But let's take a closer look on how to start using DeFi. The first step to start using DeFi on Bitcoin is to have RBTC or any other RSK ecosystem token in a wallet that allows you to connect to these decentralized solutions. 
There are many wallets available in the RSK ecosystem, and you can find them all at rsk.co slash openfinance. Thanks for watching. To learn more about some of the top DeFi for Bitcoin solutions and how you can use them, check out our other videos.